Hey everybody, welcome back. So if you've watched some of my previous videos, and I'll try and put a link to one of them in the cards above, I have tried to print palm or Delrin filament, and I have not had a lot of luck. It warps, it doesn't stick to anything. And I've tried wood, paper, glass, you know, I've tried everything I could think of that I had available to me and some things I actually had to go to get. But one thing that somebody said to me that palm will stick to is more palm. And I bought a eighth inch thick acetyl sheet. And I bought eighth inch thick because it mirrors the um ha, mirrors, it mirrors the thickness of the mirror that I use on my Ender 3 bed. So hopefully I will not have to cut um I will not have to change the um, spacers under the bed too much to get it to work. So I have taken, I don't know if you can see it, I have taken a utility knife and I have scored out the proper size. All right, there we go. Ender 3 Delrin print bed. Let's go see how it works. Okay, for the record, this is just an enclosed Ender 3 with an STR 1.3 board and an all metal hot end. The great majority of the changes that were done to this Ender 3 were simply to get it in the enclosure and all the electronics outside the enclosure. The, um, the acetyl sheet is on. I have leveled the bed. The only thing I have done to it other than putting it on and leveling it is to wipe it down with alcohol. We're up to temperature, ready to go. Let's print that um, that hammerhead test piece from my last impact test video. Uh, link in the cards above of course and here we go. I am printing it 220 with a temperature with a bed temperature of 80. Just want to say some of that seemed to stick pretty well. There's my little um my little line that gets drawn and that seems to write it's really down. Um, and that seems um that seems pretty well stuck down too. Well, that might be the most successful palm print I've ever gotten. Let's um, let's open the door and get a look at it. Stayed stuck to the bed. Wow, it's really stuck. Oh, well, that's a heck of a thing, huh? Let's see if I can get it off of there easily. I'm going to zoom back out here. Hang on. Well, let's see what it takes to get it off of there. Let's get rid of this first. Well, it's far from perfect, but um, that may be the best palm print I have ever gotten. Um, it's solid. It's just that first layer is kind of raggedy. You know what let's do? I am going to scuff up that bed and try one more time. Okay, I know you probably can't see it, but I scuffed the bed up with a sanding sponge. I was going to show it to you. There it is right there. Had a brand new one in the package, one of these, scuffed it up with that and wiped it down with alcohol again. And I'm ready to try one more time, but let's just take another look at this. Uh, notice, I don't know if you can see it, but I had a, a stray, a stray strand of, a stray line get in under there, under the bottom. And I got some elephant's foot, and you can see it's curved slightly, so I think what happened is the very outside, like, millimeter or two going around curled up and that's what gave me the elephant's foot going up but that is absolutely solid person can work with that that's the best palm print I have ever gotten okay printers up the temperature let's try one more time on the scuffed bed and see what happens 
So just for sport and amusement, and because I like to break things, I took <laughs> I took that print out to the garage, and I put it on my hammer drop rig, and the first drop broke through the top of it. So while it is absolutely solid, that um, that filament is not something you would use, I think, if you were looking for toughness and impact resistance. At least this was certainly not a good example of those qualities. Well, apparently um, roughing it up didn't make it any better, made it worse. Let's um, stop it. Okay, I flipped it over to the shiny side and I re-leveled it and I cleaned it with alcohol. One of the problems seems to be is that it doesn't seem to be an extremely uniform thickness and I'm not sure what I can really do about that. But um, I think I got it set pretty well for the center. Let's um, try it one more time. Okay, that's not working. I can already see it lifting. So I'm going to stop it here and um, let's try going back to the other surface and scuffing it up with some really rough sandpaper. Okay, I had high hopes for that, but that was another failure. Boy, it sticks really good in some places, and in other places it doesn't stick at all. I noticed this is really rough where I scuffed it, but right where it was printing is as smooth as can be. That's not sure what's going on there, but I got one more idea. Hang on. Okay, one final try before I admit failure. This time with... Um, with a, a better sanded surface, I also moved the part to print near the front of the bed where I have a more uniform, a more uniform nozzle gap, and um, I've also applied a bit of this magic stuff. And let's see how this works. I think this will be my last attempt. Okay, it drugged the first layer off the bed again. <laughs> That's really really interesting. It drags the first layer completely off the bed and then it starts printing the second layer on the bed. I've obviously got some, um, some work to do here trying to figure out what's going on. Maybe I'm trying to print too close. That's, um, you know what, let's let it go and let's see if it prints the next layer. Well, I guess it's safe to say that's a total failure. Let's get it out of there. It's interesting, isn't it? It prints a layer, then kicks it off, then prints the next layer, then kicks it off. And it's just how much it curls up. So, there you guys have it. There's my latest my latest failures in palm printing. Hope you enjoyed my um, misery. Catch you guys later. If you have any suggestions, leave them for me below. Like and subscribe, all that crap. Talk to you later. Bye now.